I wanted to test out for myself how waking up at 4.30 affected my productivity. I woke up at 4.30 a.m. for one week like a Navy SEAL. I read a lot about how Navy SEALs like Jocko Willink wake up at 4.30 in the morning. Jocko famously says that discipline equals freedom. It is Friday, two days before I start this experiment. Normally, my alarm goes off five minutes before 8 a.m. Setting my alarm full like three and a half hours earlier is gonna be really scary. <laughs> Will I survive? So we're gonna try to wake up at 4.30, do some sort of exercise, some sort of activity, like a puzzle or nails or do some cooking maybe, make some breakfast, get dressed, and then I'm gonna try to get to work by seven. And then I will try to be in bed by 8 p.m. I know I'm gonna break this bed by 8 p.m. rule because I already have plans next week that start at 7.30. <laughs> the gym in my building doesn't open until six. So I'm gonna try and kill an hour and a half outdoors I don't drink coffee, so this is probably gonna be pretty hard for me. <laughs> the bag cam. What are the eye bags looking like? Pre 4.30 a.m. eyes. It is Sunday night. It is 9.42 p.m. I am going to attempt to go to sleep. It's just not enough hours. Never have I ever cooked at 5.20 in the morning. Here we are, 7.30 a.m. I have made my lunch for the entire week, minus Friday. Um, I have straightened my hair, and that is it. Let's see who's here. Oh, surprise, nobody. I was a little loopy, I was a little giddy. And then around lunchtime, I got a little hangry and I ate my lunch that I made this morning. And that got my energy back up a little bit. And then like 1.15, 2 o'clock, I was just... What are you doing tonight after getting up at 4.30? I, we're going to the movies. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I'm so tired. I was pr pretty productive. I did finish a video. I can see already why, why this is a good idea for certain people. I don't know if that certain people is this people. <laughs> if I had to rate my energy level from zero to 10, I would say I'm about a four and a half. It's Tuesday. So today I woke up at 4.30 and I went for a run. I hate this so much. Not a runner. I just, oh, I see a rat. Oh, a duck. Look at all the wildlife. Ran for about six minutes. High five. That's what I thought. And just like that, folks, I'm a human being before 7 a.m. I would never describe a run as peaceful before today but it was. The lighting was lovely. I think exercising in the morning helped me stay a little more chipper. I felt more confident today. I would say on a scale from zero to 10, I feel about a seven. Oh, oh, and the bag cam. How are the bags doing today? My grandma calls them suitcases. I turned off the alarm and then I sat in bed on my phone for about a half an hour. And then at five, I was like, all right, girl, it's time. You're gonna do a thing. And guess what I did? I painted my nails. I also painted my toenails. I did a really bad job. And then I had my phone call with my friend Dana who lives in Israel, who's seven hours ahead of me. So that was a plus. I had an interview today with someone I've been trying to get in contact with for a while. And it went really well, so I was really hyped for like 45 minutes and then just pff, crashed. I, ha I had such a hard time this morning. I got into work and I couldn't function. I'm gonna play my kickball game and I'm gonna try to go to bed by eight. But I know that's not gonna happen, but I need to actually try. The bedtime is what's messing me up. 
Just got back from kickball. It's 9-12. I'm going to bed. Bye! Hi! It's Thursday and I am much more alert. I had all this footage from a trip that I went on with my family in November and I had never pieced it together into any sort of cohesive thing. So that's what I did this morning. I finished it, finally. And then I changed and went to the gym. Then I showered and I came to work. As you can see, my energy levels are pretty high today. <laughs> I cracked the formula. If you go to bed at a reasonable hour and then you do exercise when you wake up, bad cam, bad cam, I'm, I'm looking okay today, I think. It's Friday. Made it. I did wake up and I went for a walk at the Brooklyn Bridge, which was lovely. The weather was a perfect like 72 degrees. The light was beautiful, there weren't too many clouds. Oh, it was a dream. Everyone should wake up and see the sunrise at the Brooklyn Bridge once in their life, just once. I got to call my British mom today because they're five hours ahead. So I called her at about 5.30 this morning and that was really nice to catch up with her. I was actually incredibly productive today for two reasons. One, I figured out the sleep schedule. Two, it's the end of Q2 and everyone was hustling. I feel okay. How do my eyes look? Check out the bag cam. I have major respect for Navy SEALs who wake up at 4.30 in the morning. Anyone who works night shifts has like wild hours. Like kudos, I get it now. Maybe a little bit, maybe not to the fullest extent, but like, wow. All in all, at the end of this experiment, I understand now why people wake up at 4.30. You feel really good about yourself when you're productive before everyone else you know has even risen from the pillow. I don't know if this 4.30 time is gonna stick. I did like being awake at sunrise, but sunrise is like 5.30. So maybe I'll push to a 6 a.m., 6.30 wake up. Having a regimented wake up time was really useful for me. I could feel a little more rested, but other than, other than that, I've achieved a lot of things I've needed to do for a long time this week. I think waking up at 4.30 really opened my eyes. Now that this week is over, I'm gonna go take a nap. I'll see you guys later.